League first premiered on FX October 29th, 2009, and seven seasons later, 10 p.m. Eastern tonight on FXX, which wasn't even an Apple and FX's eye back when it debuted the League on 2009. The League final episode, The Great Night of Shiva, tonight, Jeff and Jackie Schaefer, the co-creators of the League, back here on The Rich Eisen Show. Seven years. I know. Crazy. I know. Long time. It has been a long time. Now, I know, Jeff, you're from the Seinfeld era of no hugging, no, no emotion. How do you feel? How do you guys feel about this, this moment tonight? Jeff actually cried on our last day of shooting. What? Tears, actual tears broke down in front of the crew. Is that right? He did. He and, cried and at she, lunch. And Jackie said, we were talking to the crew, and we were very tired. It was maybe it was a little emotional. And Jackie said, you didn't even cry at the birth of our children. I said, well, they're not seven yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. They're, they're not. Okay. They're this. They're still, you know, learning how to use a, you know, not use a diaper. Right. Like, these guys actually we actually did all this stuff, so it was a little emotional. It was very fun. The entire. Um, we actually talked to uh, Matthew Weiner uh, from uh, Mad, Mad Men, Men. Oh. and he, about his finales. And he said one thing was like that John Hamm was out in California, and the other guys were there, and sure. he was talked about how nice it would have been if everyone were together. Mm -hmm. So we were very happy to shoot the last day of the show. It was a big scene, big finale scene, and everybody was there together. So everyone shot right up until the very last minute. The whole crew, yeah, the, the whole, whole cast, crew. everybody's the there. Crew, yeah. so any, any of the past cameos we're going to see tonight? Anything you want to give away that's sitting right yeah, here? Yeah, there's, there's a, there are a few things. One, we could not have a, a final quest for the Shiva without Shiva herself. Um, so, uh, Janina Gavankar, who, who plays Shiva, will be back. Mm -hmm. um, also, uh, someone you haven't seen since the pilot, um, the, uh, the Oracle, who's an 11-year-old boy who only knew fantasy football because he wasn't really into girls and didn't have a job, mm -hmm. so he could just focus on fantasy knowledge. He's back now that he's as a 20-year-old, oh, wow. uh, which is wild. Okay. And, uh, Any uh, players that we know that's on tonight? Uh, there's someone you do know is maybe going to be on tonight. Um, okay. A friend, a mutual friend of ours. Yes. Uh, one uh, young uh, Lawrence David. Larry David is on tonight. Yes. Finally. Larry David. Uh, we've been. You finally got him to do this. You know, we've been. We talking... never asked. Yeah. We never asked. We waited till the very end, and um. But knowing you, Jackie, you're the one who got it done, right? No. You're the, you're, you're the no, one who you're the I one mean, who closed the deal with Larry. He was doing a favor. Yeah. For us to wish the sushi monger, the fish monger, <laughs> this is a true story. So the fish monger of Santa Monica was having a birthday. Yes. And you remember we were all asked to wish him, wish him happy birthday yes, uh, on for, a video. On a video, yes. We are Our very mutual camp friend of the fish monger exactly. of Santa Monica yes. is what so, we to. Um, except for your show, we tend to be a little camera shy. We did not want to do our own video. So okay. we hired Larry David <laughs> to do our video for us. And you know, they have a very interesting neighborhood proximity. Yes. Um, and so we had him yell happy birthday from his own balcony across the oh, golf course to the fishmonger's house. Got it. And it was that day that we said, hey, hey, do you want to do this thing? Because yeah. he's doing Bernie Sanders every week, every Saturday night, <laughs> it seems he's, right he's now. He's so awesome. good at it. Awesome. So this was, it was a great role. We never had the right role, and this was the perfect role for him. So he comes on, uh, he's in the season finale, and just kills it. Does not Super. play himself, in other words. Uh, does not play no. himself. Okay. Does not play this himself, is and, is, and is very funny. So that's a... Uh, we, that's can, a we can tell you who he plays. He plays future Ruxin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so... Oh, is Goldblum in? Is Goldblum on tonight? Goldblum is dad. Right. This is future actual Ruxin. Wow. So um, he plays, Nick, Nick Kroll gets to have a run in with his future self, played by Larry David, same glasses. And what we came oh, to learn fantastic. that day in, shoot, in shooting is um, if, if two people who really don't like themselves are really not going to like each other. So it <laughs> works out perfectly. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Jeff and Jackie Schaefer, co creators of the league, joining me here on the day that the league says goodbye. Uh, and what, what this has become, I mean, you mentioned Nick Kroll. Paul Shear, Mark Duplass, some of these cast members have really struck it big since you guys have started this show. Do you take personal credit for this sort of thing? I think we gave, a, uh, it's like mm -hmm. these guys, everybody that we cast, mm -hmm. we cast them because they were value added and they made stuff and they did stuff. Sure. And that's what they're doing. They do it on our show and they do it in their lives. I think it's, mm -hmm. it's a testament to the, like the cast itself is, is fantastic. And that's why the show has existed so long because people like, yes. like watching them. And mm -hmm. it's, that's, I think, the thing we'll miss the most is sitting there, you know, at the bar, at the living room, just making stuff up. Right. Just making stuff up with the funniest people on the planet. And who's your favorite cameo, Jackie? Who's the, which player Catholic? did you like? Oh, yeah. player? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm a J.J. Watt girl all day long. I mean, and, and the thing about J.J. is, un, you know... I'm it, so sorry, Chris and Chris. Sorry. She J.J., but I'm sure one of you is second. 
<laughs> yeah, no, no. Player. Right. He said player. It's player. If player. He said well, at least player. Paul Brockman is a player. Yeah, there player we go. hater when it comes to J -J to the man chopping wood in the forest. <laughs> was he working out when he was? Like, Stop did he, it. Did he bring a bow flex on it. the side. JJ Watt is a. Honestly, the thing what he was because we were shooting at a hotel, right. and he asked where the gym was, and we were right. all into it. Katie Shocking. and I were all about it. You were all about it. Katie Azelton and I were all about JJ Watt. Did you provide the towels? Did you provide the the water? We just sat there and were just cheerleaders. Here's the thing. Unlike yes. a lot of the player cameos, yes. JJ was in two episodes, so he didn't just shoot for a few hours. He shot for several days, which is a long time sure. as a cameo on our show. Right. You know, fancy people like yourself, we normally get in and out and very, <laughs> you know, well, my, time time. Is time. Very, yes, my time is very, my time is limited. very valuable. Yes. So we, Brockman's got a limo right. to drive. The, the, the famed Brockman limo. <laughs> right. yeah. the, is, and the FX did not like the receipts for that. No, they didn't <laughs> like the receipts. Also, they they didn't understand how many all the extra stops. <laughs> Back to his high school? <laughs> really? In Maine in or Alaska? Alaska? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Very JJ good. JJ was amazing. Yeah. JJ was amazing. And and so what about the uh, the uh, the actors? I guess Rogan, Seth Rogan. Seth is I mean, a blast. Seth Larry is. Was Amazing. Larry was amazing. Larry was amazing. Seth, having Seth coming on all the time and loving the show and mm -hmm. hit the stuff he and Jason do together um, is, is insane. really special. It's insane. Um, you know, and I got to say, and this is, it's weird. I guess this is the best time to bring it up. But sure. um, there's certain members of, of your uh, show that we've really grown to really like working with. What are you talking about? And well, you know how you said like our cast has gotten so big and so popular sure. and that they're going off to do their own things. You yeah. know, they're not the only people who've really launched their careers in acting and, off the show. And so, the, yeah. and if you were going to ask us what we're doing next, we're going to yes. try what and are you do doing it. Next? It's a Netflix show <laughs> with Thing One and Thing Two. <laughs> um, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to. It's. They've It'll been be looking out. for the white ray to break this. Yeah. And we've been looking for something to do together for a while. So it's a it's a mystery show. Mm -hmm. Each week we're going to try and discover who would want to watch this show. But um, with Chris Long, with Chris, Chris Brockman, Brockman. So starring each it. Each week we'll they'll be in the show and then we'll sort of see, did anyone want to see this? Does anyone does anyone want to see this? Can we <laughs> find someone? That's <laughs> the mystery. It's like the, you know, looking into the bottom of the pyramids and well, things. Well, I can help you with that because I wonder that every day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I maybe, wonder that every day when I throw the Chris Command Center. You know? <laughs> maybe we only do six episodes the first one if it's uh, Do you have a title for this show? Is there a working title? Uh Chris and Chris question mark. Chris and Chris question mark. Hey, Seinfeld only got six episodes their first season. Is that right? Is yeah. that when did you join Seinfeld? Jeff? Uh, much later, season six. Season uh, six, seven, and eight. Six. But that was actually because the first one was only six, or maybe, and then the second one was only thirteen. I was actually there for over half the episodes. Right, sure. Just being in the last right. four years. Well, maybe that Netflix, if they're interested, we could call it what? Uh, polishing the turd. We could do that. Is that wrong? <laughs> I don't think so, Rich. No, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Need to work, Look at this. Workshop that. Look no. at those guys. Who, right who over was there. the? Uh, was there like a? Was there a player cameo that you guys really wanted but couldn't get either yeah. scheduling wise or just didn't work yes. out? Who's Very that? much so. Who's that one? Who's well, that? Well, we tried to get Tom Brady for the Deflate Gate episode. We did a Deflate Gate episode, and we tried to get Brady. And that not even that was a non-starter. Richard Sherman. Yeah, we really wanted him. We came close a few times, scheduling right. issues. Yeah. He would have been great. I mean, that guy can talk. Oh, I mean, come on. Yeah, but he—if there were scheduling well, issues. One, we that. lost it to the uh, the uh, problem is when we actually start the show to be so current. There's only a little bit. There's only about a month between, actually three weeks between us starting and them going to camp. Sure. And and we lost out to the uh, Legion Boom camping trip. Oh. The Legion Boom camping trip where, took precedence. Where they said, "Sorry, we we can't do the show. We're gonna we're we're off." Earl and, Thomas and him. Yeah. We're and, all we're out we're out in the woods. We're chopping wood. You're chopping wood. We're chopping wood. Right, he said, "They better win the Super Bowl, and that camping trip better have been a good bonding exercise, or we're gonna be really upset." And, and they, they won. did. Uh -huh. They won that year. Let's so take a quick break. Come back and have a more of a conversation. I want a curb your enthusiasm update. You Fair give enough. me one every time. Yep. And I I I, I just want to hear that there's still a chance. I want don't. Don't tell me what I want to hear, even though I just told you what I want to hear. And then uh, we'll talk about. Uh, I've dated before. I'm we'll aware. talk about because if there, that's every time you guys come here, I get a curb update from you, Jeff, and I find out that Jackie's kicking everybody's ass in fantasy football. Oh lord! And I'm assuming that is still the case here. On the last day that the league is on the air, we're back in 60 ticks with the Schaefers. Welcome back to the Rich Eisen Show. Jeff and Jackie Shea for the co-creators of the league. Joining me here on the day the league says farewell tonight on FXX. Jeff, you uh, have spent many years with uh, with Larry on Seinfeld. You uh, and, a, and a, two of your cohorts, uh, uh, Alec Berg and uh, Dave Mandel, longtime co-executive producers and writers on Curb. I want an update on that in a second. 
But first, an update from you, Chris Law. This sounds like a Curb Your Enthusiasm episode in the ether with the Bills and the Eagles playing oh, yeah. one another that I mean, Chip Kelly spoke today about LaShawn McCoy and the members of the media took the message from Chip to LaShawn that Chip looks forward to maybe having a word with LaShawn before the game. Wow. Now this, th and this, this sounds almost like the way it went down when Larry wanted the empty seat next to Funkhauser at Dodger Stadium. <laughs> How did how, how did LaShawn take this news yeah. that Chip wanted to chat with him before the when game, Chris Law? Yeah, when LaShawn was told that he wanted to shake his hand and Clean talk, it up. And it's not HBO. LaShawn McCoy said, quote, Chip can't say... S-word. S-word to me. There's nothing for us to talk about. Whew. Wow. There you have it. Wow. Didn't he also say we're not enemies, but we're not... That, that, he the, did say that. We're not enemies. We're not friends, friends. either. But, but this doesn't sound like... This sounds less friendly. That sounds enemy. And more close. This is tipping towards enemy. You yeah. couldn't even put the frenemy here. You couldn't even put the frenemy here. There's no... You can't, can't put the frenemy here. This no. sounds more like the guy that left a 20-cent tip than, than the guy that... <laughs> do they all need to sit down with DeMarco Murray and Jeffrey Lurie? Do on the plane. All just need to, on the plane? How do you think that went down? I don't know. How does it go down when if, if Chris Law says, I'm not getting enough airtime? Well, like, and do you say it's just, look, here's the thing is that crisis. that conversation could never take place in the plane because we're in separate cabins. Right. That's first of all. <laughs> right. Okay. That's Maybe if he's trying to come up that. and use the bathroom in first. Now, might... that sounds like a curb episode right there. <laughs> we did that. You did do that? Yes. And then Larry had to go back and use the one in coach. It's like, you know, you, you're not. And he's got in a <laughs> large fight with a, a woman. Yes. Were you involved with the Seinfeld episode about the, the difference in classes? No, that was right before I got there. That was before you got there? That was right before I got there. All right, let's talk about your actual allegiances in, uh, in, in the football world. Uh, you, Jeff Schaefer, we'll start with you, because you are that rare hybrid of Seahawks and Browns. Yes. And you're also a Michigan fan. Yes. So you had the kick six happen to us. I include you there. And then the Monday night kick six happened to the Browns. You've been kick sixed twice. I, that's that a kick that's a kick dozen. To yeah, you. this I, this I, it's it's been a very cruel, it's been a very cruel special teams fall. Um, although I will say, being primarily the Seahawks has the Seahawks have made up for some of this. First yes. of all, even with all the stuff that happened with Michigan, still very bullish. Like mm -hmm. you feel good about the end of the season. The Ohio State game did not go well but it's no it, no but but you still feel like this if someone had told you that the, that was going to be their record at the end of the year i'd sign great and, and then there's the browns that the, the browns <laughs> the i made browns. the transition for you <laughs> i made it oh, easier for you i mean it's gonna they're gonna start over again this is like an it's a continually flushing toilet mm. <laughs> it like it just flushes and flushes and flushes and 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 they keep saying well what if we trade away people for draft picks that's the worst thing you could do what have they done with those first round draft picks the last eight first-round draft picks. How many are still on the team? Joe Thomas? Justin Gilbert? Oh, boy. He's still there? I mean, those... Jonathan round, Football? Those... <laughs> Jonathan. Jonathan Football? Jonathan Football. Yeah. There is. He, yeah. And how... Will he be there next year? I guess he'll be there next year until his contract's I done. I think but, so. Oh, I mean, that's... He'll be there. But I think he'll be we've there. been... The nice thing is, having finished shooting, we've been able to go to the Seahawks... We've been able to go to Seahawks games. What was the last one you've gone to? We uh, went last... I mean... Not last week. We were, we were in Minnesota. We went to the Pittsburgh game. We were there for Pittsburgh game. We were there for the wow. Pittsburgh game. That was a very exciting. Now game. it feels like the old. It feels that like that was great. Now, now it feels like the Seahawks are. Yes. This have stretch. Their Pittsburgh, group here. Pittsburgh, and Minnesota was the most important stretch of the year. Yes. And now it's smooth sailing. Now at the during the you know uh, every kiss begins with K part of the season. Yeah. He, he went to Jared's part of the season where <laughs> it's football in those ads. Yes. It's Baltimore. The Browns mm -hmm. and home against the Rams before Arizona. It's the gallery of homecomings. <laughs> this is, is this what is, you're saying. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a parade of of mangy curs and and Case Keenum is the MC. It's not so, just by the way. It's not just the every kiss begins with K portion of the year. It's the big red ribbon on the front windshield of the car. Right. This right. Will Santa be, Santa uh, yes. John Hamm is doing the 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 very uh, thoughtful for the Seahawks voiceover yep. for the Mercedes giveaway for the Seahawks and for uh, yeah. for Russell Wilson. This will be a December to remember. I I like that, it. That Look I can you. tell you. That's so, next level. Uh, it's going to be they're going to be ten and six or eleven and five. They're going to get the fifth seed. Yes. They're going to play whoever crawls out of that mm. NFC East bucket. Nice. They're going to destroy them. <laughs> they're going to go to Carolina. Yes. Not afraid of Carolina. They mm. should have beaten them before. If they weren't still such a mess in the back end, they're going to beat Carolina. I have no worries about that. And then they're going to play Arizona in the NFC Championship game. That's your prediction. That's what's now. What happen. about your Broncos, Jackie? What about you? Are you a Brock I, until I, you drop? You know, I, I am. And I'm not. I have to got? say, here's the problem: when you're shooting and you have barely any time to to do football, I mean, to watch football, we've been really our every spare moment has been Seahawks. 
So I haven't been following my Broncos I will say, as you've been closely, following them enough. like a little bit. You she, know, has, but she has Demarius Thomas and I do, Emmanuel, Sanders. Emmanuel Sanders, but that's and she's in picked the right one I did. to play every week. Yeah, and that's been you much to my dismay. I mean, that's. I, I don't know why they're both on my team, but going back and forth feels right, mm -hmm. and that's that is my homage to the Broncos. This now year. you never got Elway on your show, did you? No, and it's just. I'm sure you must have tried. Right? You know what? We we didn't. I don't think we tried hard enough because I I don't think that I bugged the fishmonger hard enough. Because that's the your LA guy. Entree. He's personal that's friends with him. That's my LA entree. That's but that's but Elway's your guy, right? I mean, yeah, that's I it. mean that's I the mean. end of story for you. Yes, I rip the knob right. off. That's it. Forget well, yeah, JJ Watt. Picture, He's a jamoke compared to Elway. I have a picture of him and I together in the office at the at the. Uh, with my sugarfish hat. So. Okay. <laughs> I okay. Do. Very good. I like it. So, and now you're involved in the fantasy league. What's the last league so, fantasy league the status league of the right league, now? Which is the six, uh, the six main cast members and Jackie and I. Yes. Um, we've had it every year. Jackie's won twice already. I've won once. Uh, Paul Shear set it up. The I was saying, do not let the Andre of your league set up your league. It's a very strange league where the Super Bowl was last week and this week. It's, it's a two week. It's a two it week. It makes no sense. It makes it's no so sense. Upsetting. Don't let it. What? What? If I, I understand it's fantasy, week. but it's supposed to done. mirror the real right. thing as much yeah. as you possible. You want a more realistic fantasy? Uh, yes. Well, the bottom line should. is, what sport says, okay, let's try two of these games to decide right. who moves on? I think on. cricket. Did they do that? I think they it's might. Or just and you keeps know what? Going. No, one it's knows, same, it's no one knows and no one cares. If it's the same game or not. Right. right. So we've seen a lot of people who play fantasy. I've never heard of another yeah. league so doing Paul a two-week So Paul Andre set this up, so yes. it makes no sense, but it, it all comes down to Jackie versus Jeff. Mm -hmm. And the first week, I'm now spotting her 15. Mm -hmm. So okay. So she may she may be the end with the. So it's you. It's it's an inter Schaefer yeah. yes. war. Uh, I want to take a quick call for you guys before uh, before I ask my 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 must have questions sure. from you. Uh, Ross in Reedsburg, Wisconsin. You're on with the Schaefers here on the Rich Eisen Show. What's up, Ross? Hey, thanks, Rich. Just wanted to say you guys kind of changed our life here. Um, we had a son about a year ago in October, and we couldn't decide on a name. We had a bunch of L names. Finally, convinced my wife to name him Ruxin Ross Retzloff. <laughs> Oh, oh yes! Awesome. That's the best. That is the yep. best. I'm and uh, she she wasn't on board until about an hour after he was born. Uh, he had to have open heart surgery in February, and uh, he finally he uh, was doing good. And she couldn't agree on the name. And then she saw him, and, and she knew it had to be something unique with his life. So that's what we settled on. So so, so Ruxin is doing all right. So Ruxin's doing all right right now. That's what you're saying. He's doing fantastic. fantastic. That's yeah. awesome. Heart surgery in February. He turned a year in October. And Amazing. He around the house. All That's right. amazing. Go if it, Ruxin. That, go Ruxin. If it had been the real character Ruxin, the surgery would have been to put a heart in him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But this is much better news, and so happy for the outcome. That you have made our day. That's terrific. That's awesome. That is amazing. Hey Ross, thanks for calling in. I appreciate it. How about that? That's People amazing. naming their babies Ruxin. That is amazing. That's you have officially left your mark. If you had already <laughs> yeah. done that. That that and having uh, Mr. McGibbles show up at every NCAA uh, sporting event and football game. You've that, gotten it all that, done. That. Uh, couldn't be happier. All right, let's do it now. Every time you come on the show, I want to know, what is the current status of Larry David and Curb Your Enthusiasm coming back for one more run at it? What does it stand right now? Undecided. I'll say undecided, which isn't, isn't bad. It's not, it's not good. Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's just there. It's just like you've got friends that you sort of like, oh, they're just there. Mm -hmm. It's it's in JAG territory. So uh, <laughs> Just, just now, a guy. Now, are, are you still <laughs> formulating ideas to place in front of him? Let's say if you and everybody involved comes up with an idea, are you, is he open to receiving these ideas? Oh, always open. Okay. Always open to talking about ideas. Okay. Always. Larry, and by the way, Larry, it's not like when Larry's not working, he's not thinking about ideas. He's he's got his he's got the pen and the notebook in the pocket. It's always it's always there. You mean walking around? Walking around, oh, yeah. being in life, and the, the, he's always coming up with ideas. So it's just a question of where those ideas are going to go. And where are these ideas going to go? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Because last just, time you came on, you said it was either curb or something that wasn't curb. And, and it's curb like right. that wasn't curb. But isn't curb. that the rest? That's the re that's everything. It's it's coming. It, You're it, giving it, me nothing. I, there's a, it's that's what I'm saying. It's still it's a very it's a, it's undecided at this moment. There will be something. When? Un this calendar year? Uh, no, not this calendar year. There's only a few more days in this calendar no, year. No, I mean ne next calendar year. Oh, next calendar year. Yeah, that's he'll he'll definitely do something next calendar year. With you? I don't know. Well, you don't know? I don't know. We'll oh, see. Come on, we'll see. Man. I don't know. I can't. He's he's a mysterious man. Mm -hmm. He's, you know, he has whims. and. Did he tell you to shut this down? <laughs> Did he? <laughs>
No. Did he tell you no, to shut this no. down? This is an this is an uh, this is just a very honest answer. I think he will definitely be doing something. Okay. I hope I'm doing it with him. Okay. Um, but as what it is yet, I cannot say. It's got to be curb. Come on. <laughs> It just has to be. Pick up the phone and call him. Well, I mean, I don't know if... He'd the, love to hear from you. Well, uh, you're, you're just saying that now. But, I, I mean, yeah. I don't know if these two cents... Would he really want to hear these two cents? Yes. Just like an unsolicited, hey, here are my two cents. You hey. should do Curb again. Right. That would actually go over other than something, a balloon made of lead, is what you're um, telling me right it would, here. It would probably give him another story. <laughs> <laughs> take out his pen and his pad. If you hear a click as you're talking, yeah, it's quiet down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought it's a good yeah. idea. Oh, no, keep going, and we'll get. That's yeah. Okay. One more. That's we get one more idea. Well, congrats to you two. Uh, what a run you guys had. Thank, Thank you. you. And I, I hope, I hope, and this for all, that we can yes. come back when we're doing a show about competitive knitting. Is that, that what? Is that, the, that, I love that idea. Yeah, and with whether it's with the. That's what it's called. That's the Netflix idea for yeah. the two Chris's. Yeah, I like it. They're going to knit each other clothing, um, <laughs> but. We love coming in here talking about football, Always. talking about everything. So Great. come back. And thank you for being part of the legacy of the show. I love Twice. it. Twice. You classed up the joint. I tried. You guys also were there. <laughs> and that we'll never forget. I jinxed Robert Griffin. <laughs> oh, no, I think you jinxed Trent Richardson. All right, fine. I think Jay Gruden and, and Jay Gruden's Shanahan Trent. jinxed oh, okay. RG3. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, but that's for another day, another show. 10 p.m. Eastern tonight on FXX, the league final episode. Jeff, Jackie Schaefer, good to see you guys. Great seeing you, man. You the Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.